Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I'll be going over 10 of the best and most reliable vehicles that you can find for under $5,000. Anyway, before I get into it, please be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and go down below in the comments and tell me what the most reliable vehicle that you've ever owned is. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. By the way, while all of the vehicles on this list will be very reliable, there's also going to be a massive emphasis on fun vehicles because I don't want this to be some like boring vehicle list. There will be some fun vehicles, a couple sports cars, but they're all going to be insanely reliable and easy to work on. So coming up in the number 10 spot is the Honda Civic ID G35 coming up in the number 9 spot. This overall is just a good vehicle. It's based on the same platform as the Nissan 350Z, which is a great dedicated sports car and they're very reliable. The only thing is with the 350Z is they're not as affordable as their more luxurious counterpart, which is the G35. And like the Civic Si, it's available as a coupe or a sedan, depending on what you want. And you can also get these with all wheel drive. Not only that, but they have a 3.5 liter V6 and a six speed manual, and they're just fun to drive. And while they don't sound amazing, their reliability is just something to die for. These vehicles, again, like the Civic, but maybe not as reliable. These vehicles are simply unkillable. It takes so much to put one of these things in the ground and they're just overall good vehicles and if they're modded correctly they can look really good and in some cases they they can sound good but most importantly they are fun and they have a lot of tuning potential next up we have the first sports car on this list and it is the nb mazda miata if you want something fun to throw around corners that will again like the civic and the g35 simply never die get an nb miata it's always the answer, and there's a good reason behind that. These are just great vehicles. They handle amazing, and they're not very fast, so you don't have to worry about killing yourself in it, but the most important thing is they are reliable. And Mazda has always had a pretty good reputation for reliability, but the whole Miata line especially has always been a true staple of reliability. They've never really had that many issues. Obviously, like many cars, there have been certain things that weren't made as good with Miatas, but overall, they're great vehicles, and the NB Miata right now is the most affordable, with NAs skyrocketing in price, and NCs still being a little bit too expensive. The NB is the sweet spot for someone who wants a fun, reliable car for under $5,000. Coming up in the number seven spot, we have a fun, reliable Honda. What's new? Honda makes great vehicles. And that Honda is the Acura TSX. This vehicle is overall a good, like it's just good all around. It's based on the European Honda Accord and these vehicles are so unbelievably reliable. Not only that, but they have one of the greatest engines available ever built if you're looking for something fun and something good to tune. They come with a K24 A2, which is easily one of the greatest four cylinders ever built. And overall, they're very reliable and the vehicle itself is quite fun. They, they come with either a five-speed automatic or a six-speed manual. Although the six-speed manual TSXs are a little harder to find, but overall, they are really good vehicles. And even if you get it with an automatic, they still come with paddle shifters, which is really cool, especially for a Honda. And again, they cannot die. They're some of the most reliable vehicles ever built. And next up, from Acura's direct competitor, we have the Lexus IS250. This car is... It's the best of all worlds, really, because Lexus is the most reliable vehicle brand. Of course, so is Toyota, because technically they are the same company, but Lexus just makes the best vehicles ever, and most importantly, they're more luxurious, and they have really good driving dynamics, they're fun, and despite not being powerful, Lexus IS250s are still very fun vehicles to drive, and with that in mind, I do strongly, strongly recommend getting one of these, because they come with a good mix of luxury, reliability, fun, and they look good, Plus, anyone who pulls up in Lexus, they just automatically, they have such a presence that no other vehicle on the list so far really has. I mean, obviously, like, tuner cars would, but, like, if you pull up in a nice-looking Lexus, people know that you mean business. And the IS250 is a great entry-level Lexus, and you can find them really cheap with relatively low miles. 
And next up on the list coming in at the number five spot is the Chevy Cobalt SS. These vehicles have a great reputation for being reliable. I'm specifically talking about the supercharged versions, which are overall great vehicles. They're fun, have five speed manuals, front wheel drive, and they have supercharged inline fours, which make 205 horsepower, which is honestly just really cool. And of course it's Chevy that makes cool vehicles, which isn't surprising. GM always does kind of weird things and the Cobalt SS is a great representation of weird things that Chevy does. And overall, I just think that these vehicles are very good, especially when it comes to reliability, but more so being a true sports car. I mean, there's no other vehicle in the mid 2000s that was doing weird stuff like this, shoving a supercharger on an inline four, making it fun, making it reliable and making it affordable. But Chevy did it and they did a great job. And nowadays they've depreciated quite a bit and you can get them for around 3,500 to $5,000. And overall, I highly recommend these. Next up, coming up in the number four spot, and now we're finally getting into some of the best vehicles on this list. We have the Toyota MR2. This is such a weird vehicle, kind of like the Cobalt SS. I mean, not like literally like it, but like it in the sense that it's a weird vehicle. Toyota shoved an engine in the back of a small sports car, and it was so weird, but it was such a good vehicle and being a Toyota, they're extremely reliable. And despite being an absolute pain to work on, I mean, these are just some of the worst vehicles to work on because they're mid engine and you gotta like, it's not like we can just pop the hood and bend over it. It's a little more annoying than that, but either way, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. And overall, these are really good vehicles. They do look good and they have what's called snap oversteer, which basically just causes the vehicle to randomly oversteer when you're turning. And people, again, make it out to seem like it's some horrible thing. It's really not as bad as people make it out to be. And the vehicle itself is really good. It's extremely reliable. They're very hard to kill and they're extremely fun to drive. And next up in the number three spot is a car that is very surprising. And I know a lot of you aren't gonna believe me, but it is the Dodge Charger R is the Honda Accord, but specifically with a V6 because they're just more powerful and more fun to drive. Obviously the inline four is more reliable, but the V6 is still a great engine, especially Honda V6s. They make some of the best engines on the planet. And especially in the Accord, it's a bigger vehicle, but they don't weigh that much at all, especially compared to a Charger, the front wheel drive, and they can come with a six speed manual. And I'm specifically talking about an Accord Coupe with the V6, because I think that's like, they look like sports cars. In my opinion, they just, they're beautiful looking vehicles and they look, they're just exceptional. And I think Honda makes some of the best looking vehicles, but especially Accord Coupes, they're amazing. They're dead reliable, they're fun and parts are so cheap for them. They have a lot of aftermarket support. Overall, 10 out of 10 vehicle. But finally, coming up in the number one spot is the Toyota Camry. This vehicle sacrifices fun for pure reliability, and that's why I put it at the number one spot on this list, because at the end of the day, reliability is one of the most important things in the vehicle, especially for someone who wants a good daily driver. And the Toyota Camry is honestly the most reliable vehicle ever built. Really, it is. And that's again why I put it so high because it really is an important vehicle and it's such a benchmark for other automakers to really compete with. And it's such a good vehicle and you can get them with V6s. So they are kind of fun. But at the end of the day, you don't buy a Camry for fun. You buy a Camry because Camrys don't die. And at the end of the day, that's what reliability really is. Vehicles that don't die. A reliable vehicle should last forever. And that's exactly what a Camry does.